Hello everyone, we're back. Um, we have tried to work out how to adjust our tags. We have failed, we don't have a tech person here. So we're really sorry, it's probably gonna be like that for the rest of the stream. Um, if anyone can tell us in like two words, but we've gone through every menu that we can find and we need help. <laughs> so um, please apologize to anyone who comes in thinking this is a D&D &D stream. Uh, we'll have it fixed for the next one, we promise. Yeah, we're definitely going to get it fixed. Um, I know Cody knows how to do it. He's not here at the moment, so he can't do it for us. Because uh, he knows <coughs> a lot of our tech. And, um... Sorry. Um, meanwhile, in Hangar 3, and nearby, <laughs> uh, Lucky is lucky that she's in there. Um, so she's it's almost like I'm called Lucky. <laughs> uh, so she starts just grabbing a snack while her character's not in mortal danger. Mm. Um, uh, so Bist has is in the tie interceptor and has flown out. Uh, Rubek and Rupert are still looking around, looting yeah. some stormtroopers. I suppose we've kind of hogtied them and we've mm. taken their weapons. Yeah. As Bist and left, helmet. he made a uh, really large noise, uh, scraping the the wings of the. Um, of the TIE Interceptor on the floor. From uh, one of the officers, uh, the door opens and two figures step out. One is wearing a, sort of a black set of armour, uh, like a control panel at the front. There's a uh, gun on the... No. <laughs> There's a gun on the side. He isn't Darth Vader. He's just a normal... Okay, he's like a cool. he's like blonde, <laughs> blue-eyed, very angular, sharp features, very imperial human <laughs> uh, nose up here in the air somewhere. Yeah. Um, Next to him is a stormtrooper, but this one has like a, an orange large sh shoulder pad, oh. donating a, uh, a rank. Mm. Um, they look around, they raise their weapons. We're going to go back into initiative. <laughs> I suppose the question is, are we going to flee or are we going to try and... Well, yeah. Well, Bist isn't out of the hanging yet, is he? Hmm? Is Bist out of the hanging yet? Yes. Yet. Going, for going forward is easy. <laughs> it's one of the fastest ships in the galaxy. Yes. Um, and he's hit forward. He's gone. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Only out. Um, Even the screen. Hopefully, he will, hopefully he will work out how to change direction to slow down before Excellent. he hits the planet in front of him. <laughs> hopefully. It's got minutes. Um, yes. So that's going to be up to. So you guys will go first. Yes. Because you guys are kind of already active and they just yeah. like, what was that noise and looked out. We're running. Yeah, I, I, I think so. Yeah. We mostly leave the hangar. All right. So you guys can um, double dash essentially to yeah. the hangar door. With, with our hump. With. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that each one will get a shot off. Okay. Um, unless you want to burn some strain to get out before they get a chance. Um, yes. So you both <sighs> burn two strain. So you triple move and you're out the door. When we're in the, <coughs> sorry, when we're in the next scene, do we um, are we able to use our maneuver to recover our strain because we've finished combat? Uh, once you've sort of gotten safe. Okay, back to my hangar. Yes. All right. Or just anywhere where you deem to be like you're taking a five minute breather. Right. At the moment, I assume you're still running. Yes. Probably want to run somewhere first and then eventually go back to our yeah. hangar. Not directly though. Right. Yeah, don't go straight there. No. So you two are what, looking for a they place... They were the pirates. You two are looking for a place to hide? That's a good point. Shall we just milly over to the cantina and blend in? Blend in. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Um, <laughs> um, you return to the cantina you were in originally? Unless, can I use my tracking skills in the reverse way? So we run and make it hard for us to find? Certainly. Um, so what's that, survival? Yep. Hmm. Um, yeah, survival. Uh, it'll be against... Second book here. That'll be against... Difficulty 1, Challenge 2. Hmm. And just head back. Wait, no, not the setback. Not the setback. 
I think that's a not effing it up. <laughs> I mean, it's not very well succeeding either. Actually, uh, one threat and one triumph for a success. <laughs> so you could succeed. Um, Alright, is there a spot in particular you want them to lose the trail? The hangover to the pirates. Yeah. That'll work. That is where I'll, I, I, might yeah. have, I I nearly just said <laughs> <out> to it. <laughs> yeah. I feel sorry for those pirates. <laughs> Do you mean the freight of people who are just yes. trapped here because their ship broke? Yes, yes. the pirates. <laughs> Let me just put all the way these stats I have to calculate. <laughs> Break! Sorry. <coughs> <laughs> it's okay, you might get to see me crash a ship. Hope so. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> and so I crash on the planet. Um, so you guys do that. Um, you don't hear footsteps chasing after you or anything like that, but you no, know, you make sure that there's scuff marks for footprints of things running and yeah. uh, people sort of. Uh, Get shocked as you, as you run past and the thing, and then around that spot, you just sort of mm. make quietly. You sort of jump and glide a bit, you sort of <laughs> wookie it. Yep. Yeah. So you're claw marks on the roof ceiling as you're climbing away. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, in space, <laughs> please make a discipline check of difficulty three with two upgraded. <laughs> You're in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, discipline check. Uh -huh. Crap. This is a fear check. If you have anything that can find um, you with that. Oh, funnily enough, I have two successes and th and four threats. So <laughs> I I'd probably say I'm very stressed <laughs> right now. I'll say you take four strain. Yeah. But after just a couple of moments of hyperventilating, you're like, no, I need to get a grip or I'm dead. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> you managed to pull through. Uh, Alright, so... Now what do you do? <laughs> well, um, I still have to somehow get back into our bay without really knowing how to fly before I run out of oxygen, which I have now hyperventilated most of. Yes. <laughs> You can just open the door, right? <laughs> it's like opening the window. Just crack the window down. Oh, God. Why is my character terrified of flying? Because it was it's your choice. I know. Because you didn't build the pilot. Because it was interesting. So, you are just turning around flying back? At least trying to? Yes, trying to. You, uh, grandma driving? <laughs> yes. Like? I'm not flying fast. Okay, just a piloting check. Um... Space pilot in difficulty two. Yep. Just difficulty two. Just that's it. Okay. Grandma piloting this. <laughs> Baby steps. Grandma often. Um. I keep rolling successes on this. Two successes and a threat. So. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> now you start. You turn around and start heading back. You see there's a light starts flashing for communication. Um. Shit. Okay. Um. I will push that button for a second to hear what's coming through. Uh, interceptor friends. <laughs> um. This you stole an imperial property. Return it immediately, or be destroyed. <laughs> I'm gonna push that button to turn it off. <laughs> I don't like that. If we can, yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> um, it's not flashing again. <laughs> this is your last warning. What are you gonna do? Shoot me down? <laughs> yes, yes, we will. <laughs> Um, do you want to make, is that an inside equivalent? I assume there should be. I think it's, uh, I think it's discipline or vigilance. I'd rather roll discipline. I've got a slightly better roll. Actually, no, I'm better at vigilance. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. Roll vigilance then. Yeah, <laughs> uh, vigilance, difficulty three. 
<laughs> what are you gonna do? Shoot me down. <laughs> Famous last words from he's not a pilot. Yeah, that that's where all the failures come in. Um, so I failed that one and I have a threat. <laughs> okay, huh? so you can find out that information. Um, so you're planning on hiring it back to the station? Yes. So hang on. Uh, where in the station are you headed? Originally I was going to go for number four, but now I know that they're listening. Um, so I'm just going to kind of grab her around until I find any free open base <laughs> and hope to God they're not waiting for me. <laughs> um, which is probably also a bad idea. Please make another difficulty to pilot in check. Oh, no. I'm just going to keep doing this until I fail, aren't I? <laughs> this is more about the amount of time this is taking. Yeah, because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Whoops, that one that'll do. Uh, three successes, two threat. Yeah, you're starting to get the hang of it. Um, <laughs> you, you feel get a bit confident, you exhilarate a bit, and then one of a little micro asteroid just <laughs> pings off the shield. Sorry. It just flickers a little bit, and you're just like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, eventually, you look around, and you see there is a, uh, a small bay. Looks like it's uh, probably about eight out of 12 location mm -hmm. that is available. I'm going there. Uh, yes, uh, you head in, uh, you fly through the shields, uh, it's empty. Cool. Uh, I am going to do the thing I originally was going to do on the ship and then get the fuck out of there. <laughs> Alright, so you're going to land? Yep. How, um, carefully are you landing? At this point I'm like, yes, I'm on, I'm on... I am in a bay, I'm in a bay, and I need to do this quickly and get out of here, so not as gently as I probably should be. Do you remember the the landing gear? Hmm? Do you remember the landing gear? I have never flown before, and I don't think these things have landing gear. Difficulty three piloting check, please. <laughs> and I will upgrade one of them. Oh, it's my last uh, destiny point. Mm. I can use them all in the, in the race. If I don't die first. Um, that oh, time I failed, good. I have two fails and one threat. <laughs> you land the ship and it's like crunch. There's like a, a crack across one of the, the windshields. Great! Excellent. So you get out and you mechanic the thing. Yes. With your um, original intention. <clears throat> the uh, trying to mechanic a frag grenade next to, well, basically into the ignition part so when all of the fuel tries to go in when they try and move it, it go boom. Okay, so this is going to be uh, difficulty one, challenge two. Yep. Challenges are for a variety of other things going on. Yeah. Do you, what tools do you have on you? I am doing this. Well, actually, I would have bought the tools to do this because I was originally going with the intention of oh, installing actually, this. this. Fair. Yeah. So I, I'm basically going to install it where the fuel liner yeah. would you know, explode the, the fuel. The connector? Yes. I know cars <laughs> and ships. Ow. Oh boy. That's a very complicated symbol. Um. <coughs> Imperial complications. Yeah, so there are, uh, there are four advantages. However, there are also three fouls and a despair. You got the despair you wanted. <laughs> Probably not at the right moment for me. It blows up in your face. Don't say that. <laughs> I don't think I disabled the ship. I would not survive that. Yeah, you would. We'll bring you um, back to Cyborg. <laughs> well, one of you has the ability to do that. Um, <laughs> some steroids. Hello. Um, you install it. Yep. And you hear it go live. And you realise you have like a couple seconds. Um, can you make a vigilance check? Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, DC what? what? Um, uh, four. Oh. Have actually had. What was your result there? Uh, it was three, three fails, fails and a despair. All right. Two to three. We'll go that. You guys aren't spending any of your points, I can't upgrade it. <laughs> but I can. <laughs> you realise now we can upgrade it. Yeah. yeah, but I think I need all of the help I can get to not blow up with the ship. Yes. Yeah, like this is a fair point to not use it in the race. Oh, that didn't help. Oh. That was one threat and nothing else. Um. Ow. Um, so the ship detonates. <laughs> um, you just wear... <laughs> Uh, it's probably not a huge amount. <laughs> probably, you say, blowing up the fuel supply. <laughs> Let's do it this way. 
I don't like that one either. Uh, you take eight damage and two strain. Is you he unconscious? Depends on how much you soaked, I think. Hang on, so it was five, I would take you. Yeah, I'm unconscious. Yeah. That's it, my 12 wounds. Can we use the destiny to be close enough on our way back to the hangar to hear this? Yes. Excellent. We head towards the boss. We're going to rush in. So I am now unconscious on a blown up ship. No, we don't want to rush in. We don't know it's him. <laughs> I mean, you can pretty well suspect it. Um, we've, we've met pirates. We've met imperial people. <laughs> you did steal the ship, time. and now just later we've heard a, a bang. bang. After we know he was originally trying to blow up the ship. Oh, no, sorry. Oh. It's less a bang and more a kaboom. So I'm feeling like this hasn't helped with my fear of flying. <laughs> An earth shattering kaboom. <laughs> to be fair, the explosion happened in the space floor, not while you were flying. So you guys start meandering yeah, Rubik will rush in there. He knows oh, Rubik, what this probably is. <laughs> uh, Rubik rushes. Yep. Um, as you go, you see that there are some station security, which you're familiar with now. Yeah. I bought um, the things. They're cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all off duty, those guys. Oh. <laughs> um, That's why they're on duty now. Mm. Make a. We'll see how. Are you, you going to try to outpace them? They'll probably spot you if you do that. Oh. Uh, maybe not. I don't really want to get tangled up with them right. right now. So, a couple of guys reach there before you. Okay. They basically kick the door and they're like, yeah. Wall. You see, like, <laughs> light flickering uh, through like the, the doorway into this section coming out into the corridor. Yeah. I catch up to Rivik. Yep. yep. And I hand him the stop the helmet. Oh my god! <laughs> I think he's a little big for a stormtrooper. <laughs> I think none of us can fit our heads into stormtrooper gear. You know that there are more people coming. Yes. They step um, inside to the. He'll, he'll just come put that down. <laughs> um, he'll. he'll back up. He won't draw a blaster. He'll pull out his emergency med pack. His bag and just kind of rush in. And oh, like, I'm a doctor. doctor. Yeah. Nice. Is there a doctor in the house? Ah! Yeah. Ah! <laughs> it's okay. You it's I run next to him as his He's orderly. the nurse. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a <the> nurse. <laughs> out of the way, out of the way, doctor coming through. Just Let him through. Out of the Thank way. you, I'm safe. Sounds <laughs> rare in medical terms, they probably would have heard from Gemini. <laughs> just anything that sounds complicated. Yeah. I'll sort of try and hurt people away. Osteoporosis. <laughs> He's suffering acute osteoporosis. Um. He's suffering acute osteoporosis. <laughs> get, him 30, get him 33 cc stat. Um. I don't think I'm helping you in the race. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, You've got three days, it's fine. So maybe about top secret prototype, um, super important, imperial, a high priority, um... <laughs> Possible evisceration of the. Uh, Sorry, I'm getting out my bingo card. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, the eviscerators? <laughs> um, who's, who ships the eviscerator? I feel like that's one of the big uh, ones. I don't know. Um, but he, he has a med kit. <laughs> Deception, please. Oh, um, sure. He has a med kit. Difficulty. Two. two. But oh. you can have two blues because you're being yes, A, yes. you're being helped. B, that's a good story. And <laughs> well, no, sorry. Kind. You've uh, role played it well. Yeah. But one step back because at the same time, they are security and there's a crisis. Like, yes. <laughs> um, I'll take one of those light side points to upgrade that. <laughs> Didn't help much. Ooh. Oh, now what are you actually doing? You well, like, oh, yes, sorry, I, you're doing exactly what I told you to. Please continue. Yes, uh, that's a success and two advantage. Um, they sort of step back and they're calling through for more support and stuff. Yeah. Uh, including like, you hear them say, yeah, uh, we've got a first aid responder. We're looking, send uh, like yeah. an ambulance so yeah. you get them to the doctor's room. He's, he's basically trying to rush in and see if Bist is there. If he is then kind of like call for a stretcher or something to get into med bay. You, you hear them already calling. Uh, you see okay. Bist uh, laying down with some deep cuts across his Excellent. back. Can yeah, I use my emergency med pack to start trying to heal him? Yeah. Yep. 
Um, I can make. You down for wounds or stun? I'm down for <laughs> wounds. Okay, so like a stim, uh, a health kit will just do five hit wounds. Yeah, that'll yeah. bring him back to consciousness. Yeah, it also gets rid of. Oh wait, I need to roll you a critical because you got knocked down. Yes. Oh boy, forty-seven. You got a forty-seven. Ooh. The fat. I think at this rate, um. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think at forty-seven, you it's not going to be a. Uh, a long-term problem. Um, <coughs> don't get to lose that eye yet. <laughs> Build character. <laughs> you lose your eye. Oh, uh, really? No. no. <laughs> but uh, any dif- any intelligence and cunning checks are increased difficulty by one until the end of this encounter. So I suppose you just got. So when they're about to ask you what the flip you were doing. Yeah. It's now even harder to say yes. what you were doing. Sorry, so to intelligence and cunning. Cunning. Well, it's good that I can remove one of those using my so, natural skills of convincing demeanor. So he heals five wounds? Yes. Yes. So you're now conscious. I'm now back to seven. Because <laughs> it means I would negate any negatives I would suffer. Because it's like an emergency sort of med kit thing. Is it? It's okay. I don't know what it is. Okay. Yeah. If that's if what it is. If you want me to roll for it. Oh. If not, then. No, if that's what it is, that's what it is. Okay. He seems. What's going on? Who are you? The, like the ship is in such pieces that you know, it's like, like, what ship is this? Like they don't even recognise the what it is. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Rubik is kind of attending to him still. He'll just kind of gesture at Rupert to kind of just get them away. Yeah, I'm just sort of herding them back. And be like, so we <coughs> give him space so for the new terminal. Need to share this man's med bay. <laughs> He needs space to come in. We need a structure in here. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you move him back. Um, do you smell fuel? I, I smell fuel. <laughs> the advantage you got it sort of yeah. kind of worked. Yeah. They're still very, very cautious. Yeah. Quick, run. You guys should get some more doctors. We might need to... <laughs> there could be more injured. <laughs> go on, go. Uh, that's going to require a deception check. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be Actually. difficulty two and um, challenge one. Oh, we. Oh, he said challenge one. But I will give you a blue because. As in, the one, one of the difficulties is upgraded or no, no, three in total. Three in total. And, and, one a, blue. and a blue because uh, yeah, they're yeah. already believing the lo- earlier lie. Yeah. For now. For now. Blue did not help. Nope, I screwed us. We're, we're done. We're done. <laughs> Get ready to run. Oh my God. Two failures and a threat. Hmm. I don't know any of these men. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so look at each other. We've already called for shit. Who are you? First responders. <laughs> Where's your ID? I, my hands are busy. My hands are busy right now. <laughs> Where's your ID? I, I'm just a nurse. I get ID. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, let me see if they believe that. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am mostly stunned, stunned by. Uh, I, sir, I, I think your translator didn't work. <laughs> Look, unless you want to report to. What's his name, Lieutenant? Best. I turn my translator off and I start just talking to Morty. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, it's your translator, bro. Yeah. I just want to do it with Lieutenant Best. You best. We're, we're just going to get him out of here. Before any more trouble happens, yeah. this was not supposed to be like this. <laughs> All right, You're right. It wasn't like this. <laughs> it's gonna be difficulty one, challenge two. <laughs> yep. Thinking it's all these. I'll have another one of those, please. Oh boy. No, no, like the I'll swap one over to upgrade it to the yellow. Oh boy. I have dealt with one ship. <laughs> Two more to go! <laughs> oh, I don't want okay. to get singed again. That is um, an advantage and three failures. What's the good at doing stuff? Mm. Sort of, they say, oh, wait here, more people will be along shortly. Lieutenant who? Vesta. Hey. Never heard of him. <laughs> He's on the station, He's one of the races. <laughs> What? Yeah, five wounds. Get him right away. Yeah. Let, me, let me just see if he recognises the, the ship. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm, I'm, 
I'm Swallow sorry. Is we were, only way out. I hmm? was. Are they covering the only way out? Uh, no, but they're sort of between you and the door. Yeah. Right. It, it really so this is a hangar and the ship kind of crashed. Oh, the ship exploded sort of roughly in the middle. Yeah. I'm sorry, I was trying to make a new rocket booster for this ship and it just exploded. Yeah, you need to get to a doctor. Yeah, we'll, we'll get into a doctor. Come on, let's go. No, I, do you know these men? No. <laughs> They're doing terribly and I'm saving my own skin here. Yeah. I just, uh, d- don't worry, doctors will be long shortly. Uh, just you two, let doctors take me. Get out. You hear footsteps in the corridor as two more arrive. Ah, uh, what, doctors? No, or? just guards. Just guards. Yeah. Okay. This is just the guy station nearby. Mm. I'm gonna give you a look that says we should just leave him. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that just your regular look? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ruby will kind of go, well, look, we, we've stabilized him now, so the surgeons will need to see to him. Uh, probably got a punctured lung and trachnea. Uh, we'll, we'll be off, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, yeah, so, uh, what was his trachnea? Yes. Points what? to his stomach. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he's... He's... <coughs> yeah. It, he'll just kind of try and just bleed. <laughs> that is something, guys. No, All right. Go right on. Yeah. That's still in glasses. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're probably gonna run away a bit, then he'll kind of try and get lucky on the calm. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, um, good news. You won't have to worry about that ship. Bad news is this. Well, he's okay. He'll just probably be in Med Bay for a bit. Um, is he gonna be fine in three days? <laughs> yes. Great. That's all I care about. From, from what Gemini's told me, yeah, you should be cool. Okay. You should be good. Um, there were some... Yeah, we're, we'll, we'll be back there soon. Uh, is okay. someone hurt? Do I need to help? Uh, yes, this is in Hangar 12. There's the security team there. Uh, there are waiting more doctors. We patched them up as best we could. Um, alright, I'll try to get on the team. Good idea. Dr. Thal said he owed me one. Good idea. Do right. that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Little lemon legs running like mad. <laughs> Get that woman a hollow chair. <laughs> Tiny uh, she runs off. Like, um, um, Segway. I remembered the, that human name. I couldn't work out what it was. Who it was. It was Dr. Thal. Oh. Although I think it's a different name. Hmm. Um, so that was the... Uh, the station doctor that Jim and I made friends with when she first turned up. Um, That's convenient. So you guys get, well, you get put on a gurney. Yeah. Hop a bed, <laughs> boom, whisked away. Um, eventually, you are taken to a station medic. Uh, you see that there's a human doctor there. Um, proper doctor with like a lab coat and everything. Yeah, you see a little Lerman next to you that looks a lot more familiar, sort of pretending that. Doesn't really know who you are. <laughs> was I looking the drugs? <laughs> um, and <laughs> they to manage to fix a critical wound. Yep. Oh, good. Nice. Heal you for four wounds and two strain. Okay. In the next hour. Hmm. Um, you. Here, Dr. Gemini, thanking Dr. Thaler for essentially keeping people away for a mm. couple of hours while you're in treatment. Mm-hmm. And um, Dr. Thaler is saying he's going to have to explain, but I can keep him away for a couple of hours. That's all I can do. So, um, so what were you two doing in this meantime? Uh, probably keeping on a profile. Yep. Yeah. Dropping some stuff off the ship, maybe. That yeah. we may have took from the Imperials if we yeah. if we could. I saw the fixing guns. the helmet to my arm. Yeah. What was that? I fixed the helmet to my arm. That's like a little shoulder pad. Oh, oh god. Oh no. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. 
I want to make a roll for that. <laughs> it's a stupid idea. <laughs> it looks. Where's that? It's a corruption movie. Oh my god. <laughs> Some people. Uh, what, what have you been doing this whole time? I've been making the ship that I'm going to be piloting comfortable <laughs> and chilling to make sure no one tampers with it. Yep. Because I'm smart. <laughs> yep. Um, um, that's what the Imperials were doing. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. You probably know, apart from the, the calls you hear on the comms, you don't hear anything. Um, I'm nice and chilling. Yeah. Um, after a few hours, what are you two doing? Um, I'm just probably go find some more of these flies to disable. <laughs> Is that what they wanted? I feel that's what the small people want. You'll always win the race if there's no other competitors. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> I mean, that was what I was planning because I didn't want to race. That's 75 credits to use. Hey, you know what? That's a one to a thousand times value. Exactly. Because those things are worth $75,000, they're shit. <laughs> Assuming Excellent. it wasn't hot enough. <laughs> yeah, the stripe. Yeah, the stripe. <laughs> Racing stripes <laughs> cost more. Yeah. Um, Extra 500 credit each stripe. <laughs> so you guys start to look around. Mm-hmm. Um, a few hours is up. Uh, eventually, um, people come in uh, to where you are. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> shit. Thanks. You see um, some fairly like very like you see a guy step in, very smartly dressed, uh, clothes, uh, human. Um, sort of <laughs> yeah you see like a lot of like the control pit pipes and stuff like that mm. see the way just the way the, the couple of the other station security are acting around him you suspect probably Captain Grieber next to him is a guy an uh, imperial um, like the imperial brown uh, officers thing yep long hair blue eyes sort of walking in with a gun very stern sort of overseeing things in his um Outside in the corridor, you'll see, um, see how you see one stormtrooper outside, a couple of uh, just normal guards. They just step in. Uh, Captain just stares at you essentially. I start speaking in Boston. <coughs> um, <coughs> what are the odds? <laughs> <coughs> Uh, you, there you hear the um, Im- uh, Imperials make him speak common or basic <laughs> make him speak common <laughs> <laughs> I know we're far out in the outer rim but geez, can't you teach these people to speak properly <laughs> <laughs> Captain sort of gives him side sting high good I like this guy now and he starts speaking in Hutties which I presume you know is some of yeah. or if not all of it yeah. I I, <laughs> it doesn't seem to work. No. Um, but he starts speaking in Hadith to you. So what's going on? I was trying to install a new engine on a ship and it just blew up. I see you're seeing that back in Hadith. <clears throat> yes, I'm not speaking in basic. Uh, you see the Imperials just like. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, kid, we. We know that there was the Imperial ship. What Imperial ship? What's an Imperial? I was, I was told by a group of people to install a particular thing on a ship, and I went to the ship I was told to install it on. If it was an Imperial ship, that's what I was told to install it on. <laughs> Make a deception check. Yeah, no worries. This would be like uh, challenge three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you have the ability as well, happens. Yeah, the ability oh, takes away the black. Yeah, yeah um, I'm okay. sort of took that into account. Yeah. Oh. Well. Ooh. Um. Oh, um, oh so, okay. So. You don't cancel. I've got a <coughs> fail. I've got a triumph, and I got a despair. All in the same roll. <laughs> so. You're left with a 
triumphant or despair? Uh, we just gotta cancel each other out. So something good happens, but something very bad happens too. You're just looking at him and he's facing you, he's not facing the Imperial. And you see a slight little smile crock at the side of his face. And he goes, he says, really, the captain of that ship is one of the competitors in the race. He says in basic, he says in basic back to you. Um, why would he hire you to work on another ship for the race? I'm going to speak back in Hatties. Um, I guess it might not have been the captain of the ship that hired me. It could have been someone who wanted him out of the race. Yes. Hmm. Which I think is better for the other races. To not let Imperial scum he says in. He basically says, yeah, so... I think I agree with you there. Those, I've heard they're pirates, those ones. Um, <laughs> um, mm. They're poor pirates. <laughs> They've definitely been causing trouble down in the marketplace. Might be finally uh, the administration will allow me to take action on that as well. They've been sabotaging races. He turns down to the Imperial and goes... It's really victimised them. I, I don't think... Uh, I think this bottom was just tricked. I'll take you... Uh, I'll sort it out. Don't worry, you'll be compensated for the loss of your ship. Imperial stuff. Throb, 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 throb. I'll decide. Let me let me work out if he actually <laughs> believes it. No, he clearly <laughs> does not. He clearly <laughs> knows yes. that he's been taken out of the comp race, and he doesn't know exactly what's going on. <laughs> He just shoots you the dirtiest look and then storms out. Turns on his heel, clipping, feet clipping. Freedom. <laughs> <laughs> then the captain turns around and goes, You owe me. And walks out. <laughs> yeah. Exciting. Two doctors are sort of like, <laughs> Cool. Uh, Taylor's like, yeah, you can go. Um, I wouldn't go anywhere too public. <laughs> I've seen that looking before. Uh, I tend not to get repeat customers in that case. I'm gonna <laughs> fuck off back to where our ship is. Uh, cool, roll stealth. Difficulty three. Going back to our main ship or the ship I'm piloting for the, the race? The ship you're piloting for the race. Okay. <laughs> Important distinction right now. Yes. Because <laughs> your sister is in the main ship. Yep. Ooh. I have a triumph and three threat. No. Four. Th three. Yes, three threats. And a success? The, the success cancelled out. Well, yeah, there's the success from the triumph. Cool. Uh, you make it back. Yeah. Um... At that, this point, making it back with no complications and no one finding out that's where you're from, yep. that is a triumph. Cool. <laughs> okay, so... You're <laughs> still there, yes? Yes. Were you two headed back there as well? Yes, mm. probably. Uh, I think it's, you probably... Rick sort of yeah. 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 Oh, I'm a little more sandwich than before. Mm. You, s you smell like burnt fur. You don't have to deal with the Imperial. But I have some bad news. You will have to race fairly against Griever. Fair enough. And because now I'm gonna OM1, I think I'm going to attempt to have the map sent to him as well as us. Okay, then it can just be a fair contest of who's actually a better pilot, which is me. Hmm. <laughs> now I need to avoid any Imperial person on this asteroid. Good job on that grenade, it looked like you did quite a lot of damage. <laughs> What grenade? The one I gave him earlier. Yeah, yeah. To disable it, the ship. It went know? off <coughs> well before it was supposed to. I'd suggest being further away <coughs> next time before you detonate it, though. Yeah, that was brave, but you know. It looked like it hurt. Mm. Even I know you shouldn't have a grenade go up in your hand. Yeah. Did you try to put a delay on it and it failed? No, I tried to put it in. I was going to let the ignition do the job for me. Oh. But it got caught. It's yeah. probably still warm after the flight. Rookie mistake for a new pilot. Yeah, you probably. What probably happened <clears throat> is um, 
you probably still had engine fluid coming through for the fuel, so it probably started to trigger it. Uh, at this point, he's going to just <laughs> turn and go into where an office is in this thing to just go on salt in. cop for an hour. <laughs> it's okay. Like, you couldn't have understood unless you, like, already piloted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I think one's a pride. Oh, oh. <laughs> she's a little bit callous sometimes. Callous. Callous. Hmm. She's a cat. What do you expect? <laughs> so you two still need to get that spike into the ship that's going to be getting all of the map data. What spike? The one he then pulls out <laughs> from where he's left it with me. Yes. The one he finished before he left with you guys. What ship is this? Bix's ship. Who's Bix? The administration lady, sister, whatever it was. The one who's getting the star map so she can avoid the asteroids, putting it in her ship. Do you know where it is? No. That was your job originally. Yeah, that was what you were supposed to this, do. This, 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 this captain, captain that owes you, what does he look like? Is he a human? It was Captain Grieve. Yes, what does he look like? Blah. Yeah, human. Yeah. They look pretty <laughs> well, well, all yeah. humans look alike. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, is there a terminal in here? Yep. Cool, I'm going to do the thing I should have done to start off with and check to I see if I can get into the records to tell me which bay her ship is in. Certainly. Computer. That was a smart thing. Yeah. Difficulty 2. Oh. Actually, no, difficulty 1. <laughs> it's probably like a pretty much pretty straightforward index. <laughs> Two successes and an advantage. Uh, one? Did I say grief for the ship in one? Uh, two. Two, yeah, I thought so, because one for safe for hers, yeah. Yeah. She's in one, if you can... One people in one, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> She's in one, if you can get in there and stick this spike into her navigation computer and allow it to do its job, it will send all of her astrogation computers to our ship and grief ship. Which computer is the navigation computer? I'm not going with you. Take her. I assume that she knows when we leave the spike <coughs> in the computer. Once the spike is on a thing, you take it out of the computer. Mm. I should know which one of the navigation computers are in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it I must be so. pretty much any port. Yeah, mm. I thought so. Especially out of fighter. I thought so. Now I'm I going to take a nap. That's a very smart plan. I made the seat real comfy now. I just point to the ship. <laughs> okay. It does cat hair everywhere. Yeah, yeah it makes it soft. <laughs> oh, God, I'm going to have to breathe that in. <laughs> Cats versus dogs. Yep. <laughs> so you oh, guys yes. head to Bay One? Yep. Yes. Yep. Goggles up and down on. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> really suspicious like you walk. It's a group. Swagger. Um, I'm cool and confident. Totally pirates. Mm. <laughs> No, I've got two eye patches, not one. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, you're not new to anything along these lines. I'm not going to assume you just, like, go, oh, we're in Bay 4, 3, oh, look, it's the Imperials. You're going to, like, yeah, take it along the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, you sort of go deeper into uh, the uh, asteroid itself, through some of the marketplace, through some of the workings, uh, there is like the air of excitement um, around. It's like the big event that's going on has had some well explosives event that's happening. <laughs> um, and uh, eventually, though, you sort of head back around. You see uh, Bay One. There's even just looking at it, you, you realise there's some fairly serious security at the front. Mm. There's no. There are like there are guards out the front. It's not as many as you expect though, but you do see that there are cameras here. There are like blast room placements. Oh. Hmm. Fancy. Well, how are we doing this? I mean, I'm just gonna have a nice, happy little chat with the guards at first and come back later. Do you have any more of those concussion grenades? He would just kind of nod and then pass over his last stun grenade. Oh no. When you looted off the. Stormtroopers, did you take the big grenade? Oh, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Grenades, each each one had a frag grenade. Yeah, you oh. take their grenades. Yeah, sure. Oh, I'm gonna have a frag grenade. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the frag. You can both wait at the back. Yes, we'll do that. I'm gonna head over and chill with the car. Mm -hmm. So I guess we both get two frag grenades. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you walk over? Yeah, over and got some. 
guys. Then, hi. You haven't had any excitement here. You see one of them sort of look down the corridor outside the hangars, which goes around like the asteroid, so it's not like it's a straight line. So, no. Uh, oh, thank goodness. I'm, I'm not even in the race and I'm constantly watching the tail. Yeah. Yeah. You, walking up with this bandana and your eyes covered. No, like bandana's on like the back oh, of the Oh, I thought you meant across like that. No, no, it's not on the front, it's on the back. Okay. It's to cover the black and, and orange sludge. No. So, um, you, uh, no, uh, we're planning on keeping it that way. That's really smart. I'm not even in the race and oh, I'm already terrified for my own shit. I mean, you if shouldn't be. I'm sure we'll sort it out as soon as they find out uh, who took that ship out. Oh. There's going to be problems. Oh. You don't destroy the ship. You don't kill the pilot. It's like... It's the basic rules. Exactly. Like, there may not be many rules to the races, but there's at least that rule. I mean, just lucky it happened to, you know, the imps. Oof, yeah. I mean, if anyone got taken out, at least it was, you know, not someone you really want in the race in the yeah. first place. Someone took out Traitor's ship. <sighs> I would not want to have bounty on my head. Ooh, no, that'd be a bad time. Oh. Can I get you guys anything to drink? I know how hard it can be waiting on guard. Um, no, I get thanks. Fair How many guards are there? You see two. <laughs> Fair enough. I just had some really good stuff still back in my ship waiting inside. Thought I might offer it. That's good luck ready for the race. I'm oh, so excited to watch it. I appreciate it. But, uh, hey, look, if you're still offering after our shift, it'd be great. Fair enough. When's your shift done? Ah, uh, not a couple of hours. Fair enough. See you in a few hours. Yeah. You get ahead of? Yep. <laughs> Play it cool. Yep. Play it smooth. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Don't go straight to the frag grenades. Yes! <laughs> when you go straight there. As you walk away, a frag grenade comes flying. No. In true Silas fashion, you take them to our ship, knock them out, steal their uniforms, and impose the scouts, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do they uh, have any sort of uniform on? Or yeah, they got the uniforms yeah. on. Alright. And they're not all what humans either, so it's like. I, yeah, they probably don't have. What no. the. SRAC 3? Sathi? Satari? Sataris? Yeah. Did you guys are not yeah. really known at all? No. Uh, or Wookiees, because there is a bounty on your head. That's a Wookiee. <laughs> um, <laughs> and Wookiees are kind of... A lot of them are dead. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you guys help. Like, yeah. yeah. Are we going to head off? Or? Yeah, we should probably follow Lucky back to wherever we're going. Alright, so I've got a plan. They're going off shift in a couple of hours. So... You get in real good, real close with them. I'm going to bribe them with some drinks. Really loosen up and find all the quiet details about what goes on in the ship. Then we can get in when it's quiet, stick in the spike, be ready to go. I feel like if they have shifts, there's no quiet time. There's shifts. There's always someone that's not paying attention on shift. How about we just distract these two and then you can go into the ship? <laughs> or... We distract them tomorrow when that's less. It's going to be less obvious if not everything happens on the same day. Hmm. I mean, if we take out one day, it's no less obvious. Yeah, but it's slightly more obvious if three ships are tampered with on the same day and one isn't. Hmm. We'll just give them more time to set up more protection. It'll also give them more time to fix it and find it. If we do it closer, it's going to be slightly safer. Alright. Mm. So you guys head back? Yep. Presumably yep. to your ship to rest? Yep, sounds like a sound plan. Um, so you guys recover your strain. Um, you heal naturally one wound. Um, I haven't been shot once this game. It's great. Yep. You can have a medical check on you if you want as well. That's good. I'm down to two. <coughs> It'll heal up naturally before the, before the race. Yeah. Well, if you want the help, you're healed 100%. Uh, okay. I, I'm going to wait I will not, I will not say no to that. Uh, Gemini's already returned um, healing. Uh, Giesel, your sister? Yeah. 
Well, not healing so much as stopping her from dying from a... Overdrawal. Oh, yeah, that's overdrawal. She's still saying... Uh, Gemini is still saying that it's probably best to actually get her some destinies. Cold turkey. Just wing her off the cold turkeys. No. She's not having any more death sticks. <laughs> Alright, so I've got a plan for getting in. I'm gonna get in really good with these guards, see if I can slip myself into pseudo something similar to this friendship circle. We'll find out as many details as we can about the shifts, the rotations, everything about the ship. Then, either tomorrow or the day before the race, anytime we can get in real close, sneak in, slide in the spike, head off. Bob's your uncle, we'll be fine. Can't go wrong. It'll also be slightly less obvious and also harder to spot if we do it closer to the race. I'm not hearing any disagreements, therefore we're going with this plan. I'm going to stay Sounds away like from this plan because I already have him looking out for me. Mm. That's fair. <clears throat> um, what armor do you have? I just, I have the... the puffer vest? Yeah, no, I have armored clothing, so it's the puffer vest with stuff sewn in underneath yeah. it. I mean, it's probably not that expensive to get stuff that'll cover you up 100%. I can quickly talk. I probably send one of these guys with my measurements to go around me something. Yeah, so I'll say for a hundred credits. Buy me a Jedi <laughs> Um Looks like workman's gear with some level of space when space gear, like um, almost but not quite a space suit. So it's like semi-sealed right. virus suit. Hmm. People will just assume you're some weird cool thing. race no one's, uh, species no one's ever heard of. Hmm. Excellent. Yeah, sure, I'll let them do that. I mean, it won't hold up. A really close inspection might be a problem, but at first glance, it's like, you're not the weirdest thing people yeah. will see today. No. Yeah. I don't mess up any facial recognition stuff. Not that Star Wars really has that. No. no. Just... On the way back, I want to check the terminal for the top three bounties on the place. Uh, yeah, there is a bounty uh, for 25,000 credits for unknown boffin. <laughs> Ooh, 25. I can buy my own shit. Get out of here. <laughs> you are aware, though, that um, there is a standard Imperial... Uh, this is an Imperial bounty. No. For starters, you're not licensed to deal with Imperial bounties because you're a Wookiee. You are an Imperial bounty. Yes. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how much they're worth, but... It's a two-for-one deal. Yeah. <laughs> if you go to the yeah. you, you'd be handing yourself in at the same time. Yeah. You're... Uh, you're not even a member of a guild because uh, your backstory. You're an independent bounty hunter, so yeah. yeah. You got no hope. All right, I know that one then. Maybe one can only wear my own man. Um, <laughs> with a new hope, I guess Rivik will go and uh, <laughs> buy those clubs. <laughs> yeah, so there's a hundred credits. Yeah. Yeah. Who's paying? I've already crossed off. My okay. Pay. I would have just gone and find me the thing. Yeah. Um, I'll actually work out exactly what they are. I'll probably get some sort of level of hazmat. Yeah. Done. Mm. Pretty minor, but some, give you some bonus. Something with a rebreather. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, the next two, um, uh, there's no bounties directly related to the station beyond that. Yeah. Uh, there are some sort of in this sector that are believed to have been in the quarter system and you know last seen, and there's no sort of immediate convenient links yeah. to a, a bounty at this point. Otherwise, people would be claiming them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Um, yeah. So the you waiting for the, the next... I'm waiting for them to come off shit, and I'm going to bring them one of the bottles. Uh, one of the Corrina whiskey bottles? Yeah. We're going to have a little drinky dinky dink dunk. Uh, so you two, up ahead's going? Uh, <laughs> I'm probably staying back a distance, just in case there's trouble. Yep. Not that there will be, hopefully. <laughs> I follow. Very <laughs> nice. So you two are just sort of providing long-range fire support? Yeah, in, in pretty case. Much. Yeah. Uh, where, are you going? where are you going? Somewhere that we can relax and chill. To where... meet them. Oh, I'm going to like wait nearish by so they know I've come back. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to like chill out nearby. Okay. Because the Imperials haven't seen me. And I have not <laughs> And I'm sure they won't recognize me from corporate. 
<laughs> Sorry, let me get my inhaler. It works better with an inhaler. Yeah. Um, yeah, can you just make a deception check? Difficulty two. Deception. Disgrace. Difficulty two. He put his place to scar his face. That could have gotten a lot worse. Alrighty, so we've got. You were just a slight joke. So away three from the successes and three threats. Ooh. That's not too bad. Um, they accept to go and have a drink. Uh, one of them seems quite keen. The other one um, seems to be fairly suspicious for going along kind of to just keep an eye on his friend, make sure he doesn't get in trouble. Um, I mean, strange cats offering you alcohol is always a point of suspicion. <laughs> Triani have wares if you have coffee. <laughs> um, <laughs> So they take you to the rear apple. <laughs> <laughs> Never not going to be funny. <laughs> Good. I find it's okay. um, <laughs> we go in the back door. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you, you guys just got a seat this oh, way. Away from those people I saw earlier. Oh, yeah. I yeah, don't need your box. Hmm? I don't need your box. <laughs> swear um, to yep, sure. Yeah. You do your usual thing, five credits. Yep. I mean, where are the money you got for that buy right? So you're making me pay for people. I'm going to murder that Wookiee one day. <laughs> Inject his bed out the hatch. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you have a seat with these guys? Yeah, I'm just going to start chatting. I'm not going to feed specifically into info about the race. I'm going to talk about life in general here because mm. I'm a traveller passing by and it's always good to meet the locals and get to know the local side of the story. Are you flirting? Me. <laughs> She's purring. One of it is working. Oh. He's working for one of them. Uh, um, Can't yeah. believe he has a cat fetish. Oh my god. Deception, and Furry. it's going to be against uh, difficulty one, challenge one. Difficulty one and challenge one. So it's against the uh, discipline. We have got. Those cancel. We have a success and a failure. Success and failure? Sorry, advantage and failure. Um, I know how to read. <laughs> you don't get anything particularly useful um, from the, the last thing they want to talk about is their work. Uh, yeah. They talk about everything else, either, but the thing they stand in front of all day. Oh yeah, like I mean, they that's talk, less the information I'm feeding from for now. They talk about oh, I saw this guy once, and he was like, they talk about like incidences that happen sometimes, and they talk about some of the people they met. Um, uh, someone that gives them some annoyance is Treater the Hut, who's in charge of like the local trade guild, and they sort of refer to him as a hutling. Treater the Hut. Yeah. Um, which. That, yeah. Okay. Um. Then, probably the other thing of any interest you get is that that is where um, Administrator Lerda Bix's um, pleasure barge is kept. Um. As well as other things, so, like, <coughs> there's, like, this, the racing ship there, there's the pleasure barge, there's the, um, like, her personal freighter. Hmm. Wish. Pleasure barge. Wish I could get on the pleasure well, yacht. 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 It doesn't make it any better. I know that's not what it means, <coughs> but the gutter says that's what it means. Well. Than recreational vessel. <laughs> better than one. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> I'm it for a reason. Um, <laughs> so you, uh, that's all you pretty much find out. That's fine. I, I just want to, like, get to know kinds of the things um so they're yeah. not going to be as suspicious if i walk past a bunch of times okay yeah um <laughs> as suspicious as suspicious yeah that's uh, mainly what you find out um you find out that the, the pleasure yachts are very, very quick and so sometimes freight stuff back to actually gnash it up and back uh, after all, you're not too far from there. Um, 
similarly with uh, his personal freighter uh, does runs short haul uh, expensive goods and we basically just get through the bottle the hangout chill before I head off yep after we finish the bottle and had some good chat after about three uh, three um, loops of the song yeah. um, someone walks over and changes it <laughs> I glare at them as they approach they just too drunk to notice or care <laughs> I pushed them out of the way after they changed it mm. Oh no! I'll let them leave and then I change it back. I know I change it to the other song. Oh yeah, the other song. <laughs> <laughs> so they come back and say, "That's walking over." You see one of. Um, this isn't a full salt and pepper diner yet. <laughs> you see like uh, one of his mates stand up, and it's a uh, herdlick. So um, anthropomorphic hammerhead whale. Oh. So three meters tall, shoulders like there, <laughs> out, like. <laughs> What, what meter and a half? Still taller than you, but um, just huge, huge, muscular. Um, one of the few things probably you could just pick up a walkie and go snap. And he basically escorts his friend over, <laughs> just casually leans next to the jukebox. <laughs> He's wearing the military fatigues as well. You, you see, there's some attention now. <laughs> you want to change the song? They already have. Uh, I'll stop him and go, I'll rescue you for it. <laughs> oh, oh no. I'll rest Very well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, that's going to be... Uh, Amazing. Do you want to go with athletics or brawl? I want to go brawl. What's this thing strength going to be? What's this brawl going to be? Cool. Oh, no. Actually, I'll go in athletics. I, either way, um, That'd be actually it's going to be uh, difficulty one, Ooh. challenge yeah. three, because <laughs> he's strength four, brawl three, yeah. or athletics three, or whatever. Um, I will give you an advantage because he is reasonably drunk. That's a good I. No. It's a lot of blanks. <laughs> Not enough blanks in the rear ankle. One success. Ow! <laughs> no. Right in the pride. Right in the pride. Um, What's one to say? Oh, boy. <laughs> So, he like, he's winning easy, but after a little bit, he's drunk and he's showing off, and he starts like not paying enough attention, and the thing is, you are a trained fighter as well as being big and strong, yep. so you just take his own weight and flip him over, <laughs> slam him to the ground, turn over, poof, Oof. and he looks up and he sees you, moves his vision over a bit, and sees like... Um, your armor. Uh. <laughs> so with like the, the like the fangs and stuff of like the rancor you defeated. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, and uh, the piece he, of stormtrooper hat. And there's a piece of stormtrooper armor. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> <It's just> like, <coughs> yeah, right, fair enough. <laughs> so I go back to dancing. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He sits down so heavily, like you hear the, the, the metal bench go, and he's just like, <laughs> oh no. One of his friends buys him a drink and he's like, oh, that's a complaint. Oh, <laughs> oh god. So you guys all eventually head back to the ship. Yeah. And that might be where we leave it for tonight. Yep. Fair enough. So, um, uh, I don't think we're going to do a after chat for the first one. That's fair. Um, so thank you for being around. Uh, next week uh, we don't have our D and D games on. We're doing some reorganisation there, and we'll be coming back with fresh campaigns soon. <gasps> and I get to run one because I bribed people. And um, <laughs> <laughs> so give us credits. And um, so see you hopefully next Thursday for another episode of uh, Dangerous Beasts. These guys and how high are they? Don't Bye. have any, I'll blow up